the Lagos Blue Line Metro Rail Mass Transit has run one year successful operation here in Lagos, Nigeria, marking a significant milestone not just in Lagos but in the whole of Nigerian transport sector. The success of its operation met the expectations of Lagosians, well many Nigerians and other international communities. Since the operation of this metro line, Lagosians in their number troop out to patronize and use this mode of transport as it seems as the most efficient and reliable mode of transport in Lagos, Nigeria. It doesn't seem like Lagos State Government is slowing down on the expansion of the metro lines while the blue line running, the red line is on queue. We have an MOU signed for the green line, other metro lines which we will discuss more in this video. In a few months time, the red line will start full passenger operation as it has started partial passenger operation. With the growth and innovation in the transport sector in Lagos, Nigeria, one will begin to wonder what is the fate of other metro lines here in Lagos, Nigeria. We are discussing all of that in this video and also most importantly celebrating our prestigious blue line one year in operation. It's so officially one year, Lagos Blue Line has been operating here in Lagos, Nigeria with zero incidents, has been running successfully for 365 days. As a crusader of innovation, I'm here to share the good news with you. This is my visit on the Blue Line, one month in operation. The blue line started operation with 12 trips per day. This created a lot of congestion on the train and on the train station. So you can see, the operation was hectic. Everybody, like, everybody wanted to be on the train. This was the first month in operation here in Lagos, Nigeria. Just enjoy the moment. This is the timetable for ride on the Lagos Blue Line for the first one month. Six trip in the morning, six trip in the evening. This is the interior of the train, one month in operation. Due to high demand for ridership on the train, one month in operation, passengers are always filled on queue at the platform waiting for the train arrival. If you want to board the train one month in operation, this is what you have to go through to be able to get yourself a seat on the train. That was the situation of the blue line, one month in operation. This triggered a lot of reaction from international communities and well many Nigerians. We had all the facilities working, the escalators, elevators, everything is working perfectly well, one month in operation. This is the number of passengers coming down from the train on the one single ride. For one month in operation, while the train packed up, but see for yourself, the amount of passengers coming down on the train one month in operation. This crowd you are seeing here is after National Theatre, Igomu and Alaba Station have dropped off their passengers. We still have this amount of traffic in Maotu Station. You can imagine the potential of this train when it gets to Kokomaiko as intended. How far has the operations of the Lagos Blue Line have come all along? In order to improve the ridership experience on the Lagos Blue Line, the Lagos State Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, has kept adjusting the timetable 
to meet the required demand on the Lagos Blue Line. Equally, ensuring the safety and the comfort of passengers on the Lagos Blue Line. The timetable of the Blue Line has grown from 12 trips daily, now running 72 trips daily. This is meeting passengers' demand. The three stations are looking as if it was just commissioned yesterday. This is what a national theater, one of the stations on the Lagos Blue Line look like. Almost all the facilities, like the elevators, the escalators, everything is still working perfectly well. We now have trains available at the station every 18 minutes, creating a comfortable and a reliable service. Unlike the early days of the Blue Line, where we have thousands of passengers waiting for the arrival of the train, this is what we have. Although at the peak hour, we usually have more populations than this, but every 18 minutes, we have trains at the station. This is the interior of the train after one year in operation. This is what it's looking like. The interior, the roof, the ground, the chairs of the train itself after one year in operation. The one year operation of the Blue Line has been successful, but I will leave you, my viewers, and also if you've used this service, to give your own opinion regarding the services of the Lagos Blue Line Metro Rail. Now let's discuss about other rail lines by Lagos State Government. Ministry of Finance Incorporated MOFI, Lagos State Government and Chinese Harbour Engineering Company have signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU for the Green Line Rail project in Lagos. The MOU, witnessed by the Minister of Finance, the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Olawale Edu, the Executive Director, Ministry of Finance Incorporated, Mr. Armstrong Takan, Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Songo Olu, Special Advisor to the Governor on Infrastructure, Engineer Olufemi Daramola, Managing Director of Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, Engineer Abimbola Akinajo, the top officials of the federal government and China Harbor Engineering Company was signed during the ongoing forum on China African Corporation, FOCAC, in Beijing, China. The MOFI and China Harbor Engineering Company will source the funding to design, finance, operate and maintain the project. The Green Line Rail project, when completed, will be an addition to the Blue Line and the Red Line Rail already in operation in Lagos State, commuting thousands of residents on daily basis. The Chief Executive Officer, Minister of Finance Incorporated, Mr. Armstrong Takan, in a statement announced that the Ministry has formally entered into a tripartite MOU agreement with the Lagos State Government represented by the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, and the CHEC to explore the development, financing, and the construction of the metro rail running between the Lekki Free Trade Zone and Marina. This agreement was sealed in China. The Green Line is a proposed 68km metro rail route that will run between the Lekki Free Trade Zone and Marina. This will have a direct link and a station at the proposed Lekki International Airport with 10 different stations. These stations will be located at the Marina, Victoria Island, Lekki Phase 1, Aja, Lekki Phase 2, Ogumombo, Elekwe 2, Eluju, Lekki Airport and Lekki Free Trade Zone being the last station. The Green Line is a crucial component of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Network, which is part of the Strategic Transport Master Plan for Lagos State. It will also be part of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit that include six other lines and one monorail. The Green Line contract is proposed to be developed through a PPP model with the parties acting as follow. The Lagos State Government and LAMATA as sponsor provides right of way for the project route and its cross section to a consortium of the MOFI and CHEC through the Federal Ministry of Transportation for development of the project. Other 
Central rail line on the Lagos master plan include the purple line, which is a 60 km rail, the yellow line, a 34 km rail, the orange line, a 48 km rail. In the future updates, we'll be discussing in detail this rail track, possibly go to the site where this rail track will go through, show you what it look like, also discuss the future plans for this rail track. The only way you can see our future updates is by following the channel right now by subscribing so you're part of this awesome family. I met your boy OZ. Flood one showing next on your screen. Let's continue this conversation from there.